Hello, welcome back to the channel. So. Hello, everybody. You join us today with the bongo and some rusty shoes. Since it's the winter and we're not going to be going camping any, um, we've decided to sort out rusty shoes. Now, you've seen us do a video on the other side um, in the rear arch area. And I poked a hole in this recently. We could see it was bubbling. It was sort of like this. And I put my thumb through it. Um, I've got a, one here that Josh just poked a screwdriver through. So it seems to be from this area to this area. Which looks like, I don't know whether it's been done in the past. There's a join there that might be original or not. I don't know. But we're going to get this. We're just going to get it back with the sanding disc. There. And see what we've got. You can see the stone chip on there. And then it's been painted over I'm, I'm filming over here and talking about this. You can see the stone chip on there, and then it's just been painted over in Kawasaki green. So we're just going to take this off. Uh, we'll open the door just so we don't get to the bottom of the door. And um, maybe we're sliding that one back a bit as well. Yeah. Okay. So now we can see exactly where we want to be. This looks solid. This seam down our bit, but we'll get the sand on it and see what's happening. These doors. Do not stay open, so we may have to. You can see there's a bit coming along the bottom of this door as well. Might have to look at that. Um, have we got anything to lean up this door? Um, door held with ladders. <laughs> so, do you want to start this or do you want me to do it? Yeah, yeah then. Surprise, surprise. It's full of filler. So, a little hole has turned into a hole there, a hole there, that one ain't too bad, but you can see instead of it being welded, somebody's just filled it. So, it looks like we're going to have to weld these up anyway, um, we're going to cut this out, we'll probably cut that entire strip along there and this piece out here and we'll weld it up, I'm just going to carry on cleaning it back. Doing ourselves a favour and got some lights on this situation. And that little tiny hole has turned into all of that gubbins. So the rear of the sill is pretty solid, but the front in this area is shot to shit. So we're gonna, you can see, oh look. Oh good. See, that wouldn't have passed an MRT, an MRT man's hammer would have gone straight through that. Oh look, okay. what's that on the back of me? Oh, it's red. It's a filler. Just thick filler look. Oh no. I feel like taking this screwdriver off him and stabbing him in the head with him. All of that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh no, it's really making me upset. It's full of water. Oh look, a snail. <laughs> oh, no. I, don't, I don't want to go in half up that end. Yeah. Oh god, that's not just supporting. What are you doing? Look, I'm scratching my pants. Okay, anyway, we need to start cutting this. There's no point keep poking it. Let's start cutting. Yeah. Are you doing live? Yep. We're going to start cutting with this thin disc. We'll see how long the battery's got left on this. And I should wear a helmet. I told you to bring my glasses down. You're cutting nothing good, is that me? But you can see we've started cutting that, so we'll continue on anyway and we'll come back and show you. Oh. So much filler came out. You don't need to cut, you can pull it off. I feel like my lungs are going to be dead in 50 years now. The amount of filler I've inhaled. Yeah, you can see if you look here, look, you can see the thickness of the filler there. Okay, we shall continue on anyway, charge the battery and carry on. So the little tiny hole has turned into that much of the sill, which needs doing. So we're gonna, I'm gonna just get the brush in there and clean out as much as I can, and then um, I'll paint, get some paint in there, some weld through primer, and then we're gonna have to do is make a template of that so we can make it exactly the same shape. I might have to go a little bit higher here. Look, I probably have to go a little bit higher on that seam there to get that a bit more. I really want to go up here, but this is the thing that happens with a 1995 Master Bongo. Is it? Oh. We've got a new plate down there anyway, so I'll go a little bit higher here anyway, and then we're gonna um, sort of butt weld this in because obviously we don't want a patch stuck on the outside, so we're gonna weld a patch in there, um, which is a bit more difficult because of how thin this is and how thin the steel is that we've got to weld in. We'll clean as much of this filler off as we can um, so we can weld along there as well. Family in the wrong direction, right quick update. Other than me needing a shave, start getting this welded on. Um, we just cut out a template. This. Um, that was the size of the hole ended up. And then we've uh, ground it down, made, made a piece, welded it in, started to grind the top of it back there. We've still got to weld along the bottom, we're going to have to take a piece off there. But in order to get there, this little bend rod, I've had to weld the top so I can push the bottom up. We've got a few pin holes to, to fix, um, but it's going well so far. So it's just another hole, it's going to be sorted out, and then we'll prime it, etch primer, and we'll paint it green. And then I've got another one. Well, yeah, another hole, but it probably will turn into a hole. You can just see there. So we're going to get that one done as well. And then at the rear there you can see it's been filled before so that needs doing. Um, and also the boot. I've showed you the boot in the past. 
No mach your rust coming through yet, but So I'll continue on with this. So we've just welded it. We've used the big welder um, on a lower setting. It was blowing a few holes, which you can see here, which you've had to patch up. Um, that was just where I welded my earth on, because I've got nowhere to put it. Uh, so we'll do them little holes, and all we've used is that, that welder then um, to get them smoothed off. We've just used the battery grinder, which the battery has now gone on, with a little sanding flap wheel on it. Uh, so, I'll continue on with that, and I'll show you when I've finished. Oh, there's a lovely diesel heater as well. Back in a bit. Boys. Boys. Put it out, put it out, put it out. Blow it, blow it, blow it, blow it, man. What's on fire? Right there. I don't know why it's over here. <laughs> what heat builds on them? Right, I've chucked a bit of seam seal around it and dried it off. Just to any pinholes or anything like that, it'll um, get them. So it's all welded all the way around now. So I'm going to um, just etch primer, let that dry, and then filler it. So I've now put some filler on there. Thinners, I've put a bit on there up here to blend that bit in there. Um, but I'm going to get it as thin as I possibly can because it's just to cover um, the sort of little tiny lip where the welds were, I couldn't get them completely flat. So I'm gonna take that back, get it completely flat there, and you can see I've got a bit of the primer on there, and um, that's edge primer. Um, then I'm gonna start sanding this down, get it nice and flat, get it into the car to try and make it sort of invisible so you wouldn't know it had been done. Um, it's nice to do it without any filler, but I I that good. I mean, I good at all. I'm just trying my best, but <laughs> I'll do it uh, as it is. Get it filled. Get it, not get it filled, it is filled, get it sanded and then I'll show you before I start painting it. Um, you tend to have a lot of like pinholes where the air's been in the, the bubbles. Um, that's my face. Let's be this lot. That's a bit better. Um, you tend to have air bubbles, so you can use um, knife in putty, um, which is like finishing filler, and it'll get all the moles filled in so when you paint it, they won't be there. Um, but I'm going to do it along this line like it is there in truck bed line which will give it a bit of um the effect of of this try and keep it in keeping with the rest of it and then it's just the arch um so so far so good i want to tip the uh sander out on me accidentally more sanding discs let's show you where it's going there it is it's time to get a lot smoother, the few little holes you've got to get rid of, and then under here, it's quite chunky. So I'm going to go under there with it as well. Oh, what's not put? Oh, my hair's full of it. Right, I've had enough of uh, sanding that now, it's doing my nothing, so I'm going to get some paint on it and call it done. Right, I've sprayed it with a bit of truck bed liner there. Um, so once that's dried off, we'll get the green paint on it. And um, we use black along the bottom like it is already. We'll get some green on there and then that's all, that's it, we're all done. And there it is all finished. So it could have done with a bit more sanding to make to get rid of some of the filler. Um but it is only a small amount of filler in there now. Um just to try and make it look a bit tidier. Um but that's all fresh steel. That's all gonna be solid. All the rust has been cut out. So the next job is that one. Not sure if I'm going to bother with that today. I don't know if I could be bothered. Ooh. I might as well. It's winter. I'm inside. I might as well sand that back and see what's underneath. 